Hey, good evening guys and welcome to the 1st of December the beginning of a new month and this was the day when things were going to change in Patea and guess what things are still the bloody same I haven't been neglecting going out on my bike, but I have been neglecting filming. So, I'm going to uh, remedy that tonight with a little tour around the town. So I'm going to try and uh, ride a lot slower, angle my camera around so you guys can see a bit more of what's happening. And I'll angle it to the opposite side of the street so uh, you've got a field of view rather than if I turn it the other way. It <clears throat> doesn't matter how slow you go, you're f flying past things. Uh, it should also help with the headlights that are coming towards us. Um, only problem is you're going to, you're going to see uh, this arm every now and then. but. It should be bearable. What you can't see is the idiots that walk in front of you. Right there. I really just am not used to to try and uh, cycle this slow. Yeah, so uh, probably for the past two months, everyone's been saying first of December will be open and that. I'm as guilty. I just couldn't see how businesses could survive a festive period. And it's, I think there will be, for some of them, this the fact that nothing has happened, no drinking in restaurants. And if you've seen a couple of my other videos looking at um, like the fireworks nights down Beach Road, the place is rammed. I mean, absolutely rampacked. That's us just passing Soylenki on the right there. And Soy Pothole. Yeah, so the local government, they're having all these events to try and prove to the national government that we're safe but the national government's not having any of it it's a case of uh, Bangkok yeah you can have a drink Cha'am I heard they're allowing alcohol in restaurants Phuket you can pretty much do whatever you want Here. Don't even think about it. So anyway, you'll see I've been uh, mixing up my videos on my channel. Excuse my swearing, but tell you, driving here would give you Tourette's. Uh, you, you're not seeing it just now, but uh, Tree Town is absolutely packed, doing a roaring trade. You'll see it on the return leg, don't worry.
Yeah, sure. If you haven't got Tourette's when you uh, when you come over here, when you start driving or cycling or motorbiking, it will quickly onset for sure. And it, it's not always other drivers. It's uh, it can be a mixture of things. These food cart vendors, they don't care. Pedestrians, I don't know. There's no, there's no alcohol really here just now and some of them just walk about in a stupor. It's like they like to walk down the road holding hands. Now I'm talking about you guys here. The road's pretty narrow as it is. Can I tell you the weather spoons have moved here? Probably about five times. It's actually been pretty cool. Uh, this morning I went out about seven o'clock and I had goosebumps when I was cycling. It was that cold. And the forecast says it's going to get a little bit colder over the next couple of days. Uh, back in the UK, you'll laugh when I'll tell you what cold is here, but everything's relative. So on Friday, they estimate that the low will be 20 degrees. part of town where it's very quiet and that arsehole on the N-Max motorbike or T-Max I think T-Max or X-Max god they don't make it easy anyway he just wants to go up and down the road so everyone can hear him yeah a bit more for you to look at going down this side here. Well, I'm going to say a bit more to look at. Once we get back into the middle of Soy Bacow, I'll speed things up a little bit. You know, all these fancy cars out there with seven, eight, even nine speed gearboxes. I'm on 21 here. find you only use four of them. Unless you're climbing up that hill the viewpoint. And then gear one and two come in handy. Weather-wise it's been pretty good. There's been very little in the way of rain, just some very light showers. Next to nothing. Um, the other day when I was out getting a walk about around the town, I talked about this uh, this place on the right hand side. You see the the kind of neon lights in a second. And there it is there. Candy Club, and I said, yeah, it's, it's looking a bit busier. Don't know if you can see there. Yeah, really busy. That's just a tree town. Here you can see standing room only. Or maybe uh, take a little ride up Skull Beach and let you have a look at it from that angle. I will uh, turn the camera off for, sorry honey, the girls there. 
they don't like being filmed at all, for sure. Uh, you've got to respect what they want. So, I'll turn it off here. And you can join me back again at Score Beach. Okay, so... As you can see, tree time. Very, 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 very busy. I, I think somebody else said in the other YouTube videos, it's busier now than it's ever been in tree time. It's, uh, Tree Town you know, used to be on the outskirts of things, but the, the part in the middle of town where, in the middle of Tree Town where, uh, where the tables don't belong to any of the restaurants, there's a roaring trade. Okay, that's probably enough of you. Enough excitement for tonight. I used to stop for my Leo beer up in Soy Pothole, but since uh, since my mate told me they've got 165 calories, I've uh, I've stopped having my, my Leo. I do stop here in the 7-Eleven for an energy drink, but uh, I don't think I've burnt off enough energy tonight to warrant one yet. So what I'll do is I'll say goodbye to you here, right? If, and I will go down Beach Road, and if there's anything worth looking at in Beach Road, I'll turn on the camera again. Okay, so thanks for joining me once again. Hope you've enjoyed your little trip round the town. And, uh, oh, there's all the lights on in Triangle Bar. See, there's always something in this town. Hopefully, Steve has uh, been allowed to reopen.
still lots of ladies relaxing. They're not working. My missus told me they're just relaxing because they're tired. They've walked too far. I said, uh, the problem is, a lot of them are wearing the wrong kind of shoes for walking. Her answer, she always has an answer by the way, is uh, up to them. Sure, Hugh Hefner had a pair of shorts like that. I'm sorry if my missus was here, she'd be thinking about that bad grandpa movie. Those of you that know it will know what I'm talking about. 